Hey guys, uh, I've had a couple people ask about putting common rail injectors in. Uh, I'm taking them out. Not really too hard. Uh, don't mind the background noise during the day, so it's relatively noisy in here usually. Um, but what I wanted to show, so doing common rail, so whether it be 5.9 or 6.7, this is basically to be in the same process. So I'm going to show it. I'm putting in injectors in this engine for a guy that we're shipping out. Um, so I thought I would show the process of putting them in. that's good all right so you got your injector you always want to put um, I just have engine oil in this container it's just 1540 I always put a little bit of oil on that o-ring you want to make sure that o-ring's lubed up or you can use o-ring lube silicone lube whatever I always leave these caps on the top when they're new injectors because it gives you something to push on instead of pushing on you know pushing on top of your your connectors or basically on top of the total solenoid so you want to make sure you get your um, fill port towards the driver's side of the engine now sometimes if your engines if you have this rocker so you have to pull this rocker you have to pull your exhaust rocker off at least if the rocker is actuated down at all you will have to loosen you have to take your exhaust off but you will have to loosen your intake but some of them you don't have to you can see where this one like this one's still tight i didn't have to to get the injector in but this one was actuated so opening valve so pretty easy to put in you just push it obviously when this is in the truck it's a little bit more difficult um something else to note is make sure you put new washers and o-rings and make sure you get the old washer out of the bottom i know this one is because we just rebuilt the head um so your fuel sleeve there again a little bit of oil on it and these uh, ball bearings are actually you want them straight up and down um towards the top and then you'll be able to hear this click in and that's going to tell you that you got it in the hole as far as it's supposed to there again i put a little bit of oil i've already oiled all this stuff but a um, little dab of oil on here i prefer the threads to be lubed than not lubed and then these are the two bolts that go in so you want to start those now usually um usually i i will put these do all this stuff by hand but being the engines out i don't have to basically what i do is i go and i look at it because this this piece on the injection injector rocks a little bit back and forth so they don't have to be perfectly level but you want them as level as you can get them and then i just have my my milwaukee screw gun is just on the lowest setting so there's very very little load on it because they're supposed to be hand tight at this this point in the they're actually a little bit tighter than hand tight so let's just loosen them off a little bit here you basically want almost you just want to make sure the injector seated and almost no load and then tighten your nut and you do want to start your nut um, before you tighten these down because if the injectors turned a little bit in the hole the nut will be hard to start so it's just easier so your first process, so you're gonna be, these are finger tight, hand tighten this, and then you're gonna do 10 foot pounds on your connector tube or fuel sleeve, depending on what you wanna call it. Now your next, your next one up, which is gonna be back to injector. So this is the actual torque procedure. This one is 89 inch pounds. I do it at 90 inch pounds. I just do, I usually do two as far as you can go on each side just to try to keep that actually we're going to do three because it's not just perfectly level you want to keep it as as level as you can so we're tight on that one and then this one will be right there too okay so basically the same amount when you're doing that you want to be really careful that's part of the reason i like to leave these on is if you do that you can break the top of this off real easy you can break these studs because they're made out of brass super easy you want to be super careful with that so 89 inch pounds on that. Just go back and forth until you get it tightened. And then on your, your connector tube nut, or fuel sleeve nut, and the one that you want to call it, those ones, the torque wrench turned up here. The spec is 37. I do them at 40. 
so and there we are that's all there is to it all you got to do is put your fuel lines back on put your your exhaust rockers back on make sure when you're doing this you check your valve lash um, I'll put that up in the um, I did the valve lash on a 12 valve it's the same process for doing this I'll put that up in the uh, up above right now and uh, anyways thanks for watching like subscribe hit me down in the comments and we'll catch you on the next one